it, and then we'll go into questions. Well, I think, first of all, uh, I was very impressed with the way Georgia Tech came out and started the game. They were very focused at both ends of the court. Uh, Miles Kelly and uh, Debo Coleman, very good at the offensive end, and, and the whole team was terrific at the defensive end. We really struggled uh, against the, the zone, and, uh, you know, we never quite um, uh, attacked it uh, f consistently enough. Now, I say that, but we took the lead late in the second half, and then we made some uncharacteristic uh, mental mistakes. And that cost us. It got them right back and tied the game and got the lead. Uh, we had a very hard time stopping them down the stretch. Questions? Uh, it seemed like you, offensively something kind of was going wrong in the final four minutes or so for you guys. Was there anything in particular you put your finger on with, with their defense, or was it just not executing the plays? Yeah. Or kind of what were you seeing? No. I Sometimes you, you just got to attack the defense and make good decisions. And um, I think we could have made better decisions. You know, it wasn't that we took terrible shots or anything, but not quite as, as good as we've been. It, it seemed like Georgia Tech didn't have an answer for uh, you when you got the ball inside. And uh, you seem to you know, do a pretty good job of, of scoring it whenever you got the ball down low. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're a team that has to have very good balance in our attack. So, you know, today, uh, Norshad O'Meara had 17, Jordan Miller had 17, Nigel Peck had 13, but our leading scorer, you know, Isaiah Wong only had six, uh, A.J. Casey only two, Bensley only three, Anthony Walker, you know, they all scored just a little bit less than, than you need in a game like this, especially Isaiah. He is so good at scoring the ball, and he just had you know, a bad night. He's entitled to a bad night every once in a while, and tonight was it. How much did Omir being in foul trouble impact the game? And he missed a lot of time in the first half, and then obviously in the second half got yeah, in foul trouble. He only played again. seven minutes in the first half, and the guys that you're leading, rebounder and best interior defender, and you know it's, it kills you. And he has to, he can't make the mental mistakes he did uh, because they, in the long run, are what determine the outcome of the game. Because in the last, I forget when he fouled out, but in the last three, four minutes, we did not have him. Uh, Lance Terry played a big role for Tech tonight. When you watch film of of them, did you expect to see him play the way he did and play as many minutes as he did? Well, they moved him into the starting lineup. He obviously earned that and scoring 24 points and you know getting six rebounds. Yeah, he was. We had a hard time guarding all of them, honestly. You know, Debo Coleman took us into the paint. We ended up fouling. We made the shot, make free throws. Miles Kelly was on fire in the first half at 14 points. We couldn't guard him. We actually made a change in our starting lineup for the second half, put Bensley Joseph on him. Bensley's our, our best on, on ball defender, and Bensley did a good job. I, I don't think he scored much in the second half except his free throws. He ended up going seven for seven. But, uh, you know, and the, the game comes down to, you know, uh, the the – motivation of how hard kids are going to play. And I thought, I thought uh, Georgia Tech players played extremely hard, and that led to a lot of good decisions. I thought our guys were a little bit out of character. A lot of the credit goes to Georgia Tech's defense because we weren't making the shots we, we, we can make. 